Hi, welcome to Cracker Bay. My name is JD Crawford, and I'm going to give you a tour. Welcome aboard. Here we are in the aft deck area. As you can see, there's a tremendous amount of seating back here. Great spot for breakfast in the morning or cocktails at night. Just an all around great hangout spot. Let me take you to the salon and I'll show you what we have going on inside. So here we are in the salon and what I'd like to point out to you is that in 2015, the woodwork was all refinished with a much lighter interior, or lighter color I should say, and it really resonates throughout the boat. In addition to that, just pointed a few things. You have a large sofa here, and then a beautiful cocktail table, coffee table with ottomans that store below it. Uh, we also have a TV that will uh, come up out of the cabinetry, uh, as well as a, a card table, game table, or just another relaxing place to, to hang out. Let me bring you into the dining room. Here we are in the dining room. And the first thing you notice is the beautiful dining room table. And then port to starboard, there is a credenza on each side, as well as built-in cabinetry for flatware, china, and silverware. And then moving forward of the dining room table, you notice a serving board. In addition to that, there's a discreet opening for the crew to access the galley uh, as to not interrupt the guests. Let's continue on to the main foyer. And then from there, I'll take you into the master stateroom area. So here we are entering into the main foyer. And the first thing you will see is the guest day head. We recently replaced the entire toilet system on the boat. Okay, let's continue on with the master stateroom. So more of a master stateroom, I would call it a master suite. As you walk into the suite, this area could become a library, a study. You have a chaise lounge here for, for a great spot to, to read a book. And then if you continue on, we will enter the master stateroom. Welcome to the very private master stateroom. She features a king size bed, his and hers closets, built in bureau as well as drawer space below the bed. You have a pop-up TV. Um, and then you also have, uh, which is a nice feature, built-in hanging lockers as you enter into the master head. Let's continue on into the master head area. We have a his and hers vanity, double sinks, a full-size tub that also converts into a hot tub. And then behind me, we have a steam shower with beautiful glass doors, and then a separate toilet area with a frosted glass door. Why don't we head down to the guest area? Come with me. If you're someone that enjoys uh, the look of a coastal style interior, I think a boat like this will really appeal to you. And here we are heading down to the guest area. Okay, welcome to the guest lobby. Uh, we have five staterooms down here. There are three queen, uh, a fourth which is a twin, but that will convert to a queen as well. And we also have a uh, stateroom that has two bunks 
It's uh, a little bit on the smaller side, but it's perfect for nanny or overflow. So a question that we get asked a lot as brokers is why do Dutch boats demand more money in the marketplace? And I want to point out an example of why they do. Every time you go to open or close a door, when that door closes, it firmly closes and latches. Try that on another boat. So that concludes the guest area. Why don't we head up to back up to the salon and I'll take you up to the Sky Lounge and bridge area. Welcome to the Sky Lounge in Bridge Deck area. Before you enter the Sky Lounge, we have a day head here. And then through two uh, French doors, we will come into the Sky Lounge. She features a L-shaped oversized sofa. You also have an entertainment center here, uh, which has kaleidoscape as well as Crestron. Matter of fact, the, the entire boat is outfitted with a cross cross system as well as Kaleidoscape, which is a movie server. Um, in addition to this area, we also have uh, either a, another car playing table, uh, another place to just uh, relax and hang out, and most importantly, we have our bar. All the decks are serviced through the dumbwaiter system. So you have dumbwaiter access here, as well as all the way up to the Sky Lounge, the galley, and then down to the refrigeration decks. And here we are on the bridge. Uh, as you can see, full navigation, instrumentation. You also have a seating area here for guests, as well as crew. As you continue across the bridge, you have a very nice captain's cabin which has its own in-suite head, as well as uh, a lot of storage in there. Uh, you also have access to the wing stations from either port or starboard. And another neat feature on this boat, and it's another reason why it's considered uh, an ocean-going, sea-going vessel, is the fact that it has a Portuguese bridge. People ask me, what's a Portuguese bridge? A Portuguese bridge is a barrier that goes around the bridge that's designed to, when you're in inclement weather or severe weather, that is going to be the apparatus that breaks the waves as the waves are crashing over the bow. Now, not everyone wants to be on those, those type of sea conditions, however, we are sometimes caught in them. This boat is designed to be an ocean-going global cruiser, and that's one of the reasons why. Let's continue on to the sun deck. So that concludes our tour of Cracker Bay. I hope you enjoyed it. I want you to know that if you're looking for a boat that has tremendous range, global capability, and world-class construction, I encourage you to come take a look at Motor Yacht Cracker Bay. Thank you.